to this day, the space shuttle amazes me. Thank goodness now we do have new technologies from SpaceX and other companies. But at this time, this is the Discovery Orbiter. Had over 2 million moving parts. I believe at launch it weighed, the fuel weighed 20 times what the Orbiter did. I believe it went through a swimming pool of high grade rocket fuel in one second or less. Sadly, we did lose the Columbia in, I believe, the year 2011 or 12. Could be wrong on that, or it might have been 2003. Actually, that's more close to it. Um, we lost the Challenger in 1986. Um, engineers Roger Bourgelet, uh, Mr. Martin, um, their evidence proved beyond a reasonable doubt, along with Dr. Feynman of the Rogers Commission, why that space shuttle exploded tragically. And it is a moment in history. If you are there, please write in the comments what it meant to you at the time and what it means to you now, but an absolutely heartbreaking day for space endeavors. This was put on top a Boeing 747 modified to NASA specs. So if you have expensive luggage and they want to pay you more for it or have you pay more for it, Bring up the space shuttle, it might help. I'm just joking mostly. But as you can see, thank you Canada. The robotic arm was able to hoist satellites or fix satellites in space, including the Hubble telescope and others. The paraglider from Apollo or correction Gemini is fascinating as is the Apollo 11 module. Let's go take a look at Mr. Shepard's comfort level. Alan Shepard, of course, was the first American into space. He was quite a character. If you were offered the chance to sit on top of a missile, would you sit in Freedom 7? You're looking at the real deal. Also, kudos to Big Joe, which was used to see about astronaut survivability before manned space happened. And there's the cool robot from Skynet Cyberdyne Network that's featured. What's your favorite activity or space mission?